Hey everybody, welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD. And before we begin this cool uh, loading 3D animation in Adobe XD, I'd like to thank everybody for a thousand subscribers. Yes, we just touched a thousand subscribers and it's been a very fun journey and I want to continue this journey. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon if you haven't yet so that you can get notified about my videos. Without further ado, let's get started with this tutorial. So I have started a Facebook group I will give the link down in the description. Uh, so first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a thousand by thousand artboard. Uh, so thousand pixels by thousand pixels. Just make sure that it's like that. Perfect. This is much smaller. And I want this to be board one or any, any simple name so that you remember it. And I'll double click on this artboard and go to fill solid color and linear gradient by the way i will be giving the link to the adobe xd file down in the description so go check that out as well and uh, i've already saved the color so from i want to select ra uh, radial gradient and um, i want three points so i'll just click here on this line to get another point and for the innermost point i would want this light somewhat light uh, purple color for the middle, I want this slightly darker one and for the outermost, I want the darkest. So this will give us like, um, like a depth, uh, you know, an area which has a uh, depth based on uh, light. So uh, first of all, since uh, I'm not perfect at creating shapes, so I'll just copy one from the original uh, just to use it as a stencil. So I'll say Command L and I will pick up the pen tool from the left here and I will just trace around this uh, hexagon uh, remember it doesn't have to be a perfect hexagon it can be uh, there can be imperfections but it should look like a solid gate because that's what we're going for and I'll just press escape on the last point and I will unlock this uh, background and I will delete it perfect so we have this hexagon now and we I want it to be uh, six pixels in uh, size the border and I will change the color to this uh, bright pink so as to say just to make it uh, give it like a neon effect perfect and I will just duplicate this and I will uh, I will basically I'm gonna convert this from pink to white and I will take these points out I'll just ho click on these edge the edges and say delete and here also I'll say delete. Perfect, so just I have the top most part of this hexagon, perfect. And I'll just overlap it like this a little bit, perfect. Uh, now now for the, uh, the, the glow effect. So I'll use the pen tool once again and on this, on this line from edge to edge, I will create a line. And from the second point, the second angle point, I'm just gonna hold and drag out this handle, so as to say to give it this um, kind of curved look and say escape now I have this basic shape ready here and I will fill it and I'll remove the border and I've already created the gradient for this and I'm gonna edit the gradient from here just like this just to give it this uh, panel like a glow like a little glow perfect and uh, something like this perfect and I'll reduce the opacity of this glow from 100 to about 80. 80, perfect. And I'll duplicate this and put this on the other side as well. I'll just rotate it and once I've rotated this, I'll put it here and I'll rotate it just to make sure it's uh, it fits perfectly on this edge. And perfect, and I'll make sure that it's at the back so that's not overlapping anything here as well perfect uh, now we have the glows ready uh, another glow that we'll create is at the bottom uh, is at the bottom it'll be like a slight oval like this remove the border and I have again um, color which is ready the gradient here and by the way I will be linking the XD file down in the description so you can go ahead and check that out and I will make sure that it's right here now make sure that it's below the line. Perfect. Um, reduce the opacity from 100 to 50. 
or about say 70 perfect and I'll bring this over to the other side as well uh, that is perfect perfect uh, and for the base of this just to indicate like a floor I will create another oval at the bottom just like this to give it depth just to make sure that it looks as if it's on a floor of some kind and I will give this this radial gradient that I've already created and then put it at the base perfect I'll just line the pink with the pink highlight and I'll hold option and just duplicate this again perfect again I want to remove these borders so make sure you have no border here perfect now that looks like a little uh, glowing gate so as to say and I will hold all of these I will select all of these and say command G to group it and I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, hold option and duplicate this and I'll make it slightly smaller scale it down and place it right uh, behind each other so it seems as if these are gates which are going from front to the back uh, I'm gonna fast forward with this section so you don't have to watch the entire thing okay now that we have everything ready um, I will make sure that the last gate is slightly low in opacity so I'll say 50% and the second last should be about 70% just because they're you know at the back of the line so as to say and I'll say command I hold the artboard I'll select the artboard and say command D or control D to duplicate it and uh, I will hold this entire thing and I'm gonna scale it up just so perfect and I'll make sure that it's centered out again uh, to have a guide of how of where the first panel is, or the first gate is placed I will place this rectangle at the base of it uh, just as so and I will copy it to the next one here as well and as you can see we've already placed it pretty perfectly um, if not perfectly and I'll make sure that it's centered out and the first gate I will select and I'll reduce the opacity to zero. Uh, I'll duplicate this once again and I'll do the same thing. I'll scale it up first of all and I will place it right here above the rectangle. Make sure it's centered and I will reduce the opacity of the first gate to zero. And I'll do this three to four times to give it that uh, whole uh, going into the gates effect so let's do it one more time and um, the first one will just like before be a zero opacity and the last two ones will now be a hundred opacity since they're now coming close that's perfect now I will delete these rectangles which were our guides <clears throat> and uh, now let's let's make the magic happen so I'll select prototype from here and on the first artboard I'll select the first artboard and bring the arrow here and rather than saying tap I will say time and duration of 0.5 seconds delay and from transition I'll change it to auto animate and make sure it's ease out in about 0.5 seconds perfect second artboard as well we'll do the same uh, everything is copied just change it from 0.5 to 0.0 seconds delay uh, and we'll do it for the third one as well and for the fourth one I want it to come back so I'll just bring this arrow back to the first artboard and selecting the first artboard let's let's make the magic happen uh, I'm gonna select the desktop preview from the top right hand corner here and as you can see the effect is real uh, you see you feel as if you're going inside it and it's like a optim optical illusion so as to say uh, and it acts as a really cool loading animation. I hope you liked that video. If you did, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also hit that bell icon so that you get my videos in your notifications every Monday and Thursday. So stay tuned. I hope you have a great day and enjoy. See you in the next one. Peace.